Salutations, travelers. Tell me, what is it that you desire? A weapon. When? Now. How? Free of charge. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's say you just rolled Ayaka and you stole catching sword to give it to her. <laughs> First of all, isn't that cruel? You monster. Second, well, now you still need another weapon. All the good ones you have are in use. Well, there's always the weapon banner. But you're not a whale. You'd rather keep your primos for characters. Unless... No, no, this isn't a good option. Anything else? Well, there's the Paimon Shop. Stardust can be used for wishes, though. No, this won't do. Battle Pass, maybe. Hmm. You're already using those and it takes six weeks to get a new one. Or you're completely free to play. This still won't do. Is that it? Is there no way for an soul to get more weapons in Teyvat? Is all hope lost in this cruel world? No, you're not a quitter. Where there's a will, there's a way. I shall help you. We will go on a quest and find every free weapon we can. <clears throat> Alright, I may have gotten carried away with this intro. Anyway, I said I would help, so I'll show you every free weapon you can obtain right now. That means no primos, no cash, no time limited events. So what options do we have? First, we have found weapons. Wait, wait, don't click off yet, leave that mouse alone. Some free star weapons are better than many 4 stars, and I'll prove it. I hear you, but I played RPGs before. Purple are always better than blue. Always? Let's take a look. Say you want to play Amber, or Ganyu, or Child, or Fischl as DPS. You look into your bag and you have a Fabonius Warble and a Messenger. At max level, Fabonius gives 452 attack, energy recharge and particles on the passive. Nice for support, but not really what you want to blow things up. At max level, Messenger gives 448 attack, a wall 6 attack less. In exchange for that 6 attack and ER stuff, you get 31% crit damage and 200% attack as crit damage on weak spots with a 10 second cooldown. That's a lot more damage from a free star. Of course, there are better 4 star weapons, but when your arsenal is limited, there are a few weapons you can just loot from chests that are definitely worth using. I will not go into details here, just a quick list of the exceptional ones. If you want a full review and explanation of all the free star weapons you shouldn't ignore, that's the next video. Check the link in the description. If it isn't there, I haven't finished the video yet. So why not subscribe so you see it when I'm done? Hmm? Remember, those are only the ones you can loot. No gacha here. Traveler's Handy Sword, a death sword for your albedo. Skyrider Great Sword, solid physical sword for Razor or Yula. White Iron Great Sword, a death great sword for your Noel or Hito. White Tassel, crit rate and a normal attack boost for your Utao, Rosaria, Yunjin, and so on. Twin Nefrit, crit rate and an attack and move speed buff. And the aforementioned Messenger. Alright, alright. I see that glimmer in your eyes. It has to be purple for you, huh? Well, there are a few for grabs. First, if you're a new player, you can get a prototype ranker by reaching Adventure Rank 10. And you get a Favonius Warbo by finishing a long shot Archon Quest. And Dragon Spine, lighting up all the torches of the mural room, accessible after completing the ancient carvings puzzle, will reward you with Snow Tomb Star Silver, along with its crafting diagram in a chest in the same room. And of course, upon reaching Inazuma, you can obtain the catch from the Inazuma Fishing Association. And finally, we have Craft. Wait, I told you to leave that mouse alone. Sure, you already know about crafting. And the weekly bosses never drop the billets you need. But did you obtain every hidden blueprints? And did you grab every free billet that can be obtained without RNG? Maybe you should keep watching. Make sure you haven't missed anything. Again, I will not review the weapons here, just list them and where to find them and the billets. If you'd like a full review of all crafted weapons, which ones are good and for who, check for the link in the description or subscribe if you didn't there yet. By simply heading to any blacksmith, you have by default access to White Blind, Crescent Pike, Prototype Ranker, Compound Bow, Mapamare, Prototype Amber, Prototype Archaic, Iron Sting, Prototype Star Glitter, and Prototype Crescent. For the diagrams, I will go with minimal spoilers, showing you where the quest starts or where the puzzle is. If you want a full spoiler solution, I will give you the name of the quest to make it easy for you to look them up on the wiki or YouTube. 
As mentioned earlier, you can obtain the Snow Tomb Star Silver Diagram by solving Dragon Spine's Ancient Carvings Puzzle. You can get the Amenuma Kageuchi Crafting Diagram by completing the Farmer's Treasure Quest in Inazuma. Katsuragi Kiri Nagamasa Diagram is rewarded after entering the Arsenal unlocked by the Tatara Tales World Quest series. A crafting diagram for the Kitane Cross Spear is obtained by completing the Orobashi's Legacy Quest. The Dragon Spine Spear crafting diagram is in... Dragon Spine? After completing the Festering Fang Quest. Amayumi, you can obtain the crafting diagram by opening Takashi's mysterious conch chest in Inazuma. Find the conch on the beach in front of his shack and open a random chest. Conches and chests respawn daily. Keep going until you get it. Frostbearer crafting diagram. Upgrade Dragon Spine's Frostbearing Tree to level 10. Hakushin Ring. Obtain the crafting diagram by completing the sacred Sakura cleansing ritual in Inazuma. You should find a masked shrine maiden around here. Follow her chain quest and at the end receive an item which when used gives you the diagram. And feels. Now, to craft these you will need billets. So let's get down the list. Obviously every weekly boss can randomly drop a billet or not. Adventurer Handbook Chapter 4 will reward you with a Catalyst Billet. The quest Break the Sword Symmetry Seal will have a Claymore Billet. Reaching the Spiral Abyss for free, Chamber 3 grants you a Pull Arm. With win comes Glory. The Souvenir Shop in Mondstadt will trade Animo Sigils for a No Flunder Sword Billet. And Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue will exchange Geo Sigils for a Bow, Claymore, Catalyst and Pull Arm. The first bearing tree in Dragon Spine will reward you with a Pull Arm Billet at level 8. The Farmer's Treasure Quest in Inazuma will reward you with a Sword Billet. The Sacred Sakura Tree in Inazuma will give you a Sword at level 4, a Claymore at 14, a Pole Arm at 24, a Catalyst at 34 and a Bow at 44. You can obtain a Billet Trove which will let you choose any Billet you wish by increasing your Lumen Stone to level 9 in the Chasm. And these are all the free weapons you can go grab right now. Hopefully, you found something you didn't have yet, or you get to feel good that you didn't miss anything. Until next time, farewell travelers.